Good morning, my friends. I'm Dana Corsello, the Vicar of the Cathedral. Today is Wednesday, July 28th. I'm so pleased to be back worshiping with you. Let me begin with these opening sentences. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. You call us by name, and we are yours. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. You call us by name, and we are yours. Let us pray. O God of all the prophets, you knew us and chose us before you formed us in the womb. Fill us with faith that speaks your word, hope that does not disappoint, and love that bears all things for your sake, until that day when we shall know you fully, even as we are fully known by you. Amen. In the second prayer, Today we're celebrating the feast of Johann Sebastian Bach. And so the collect for Bach is this, sound out your majesty, O God, and call us to your work, that like thy servant, Johann Sebastian Bach, we might present our lives and our works to your glory alone, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now the piece of scripture that is assigned for the feast day of J.S. Bach, one of them is the 150th Psalm, Psalm 150. And I think, of course, it's perfectly appropriate, and I want to share it with you. It begins, Alleluia. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Alleluia. I think that's so fitting for the very last psalm in our Psalter. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. And most of that is about praising God with one's musical instruments or talents, of course, which is exactly what Bach did. So let me read a little bit about him to you. This is from our Lesser Feasts and Fasts. As everyone knows, he was the composer. He died in the year 1750, 1750. Johann Sebastian Bach was born in Eisnach, Germany in 1685 into a family of musicians. As a child, he studied violin and organ and served as a choir boy at the parish church. By early adulthood, Bach had already achieved an enviable reputation as a composer and a performer. His assignments as a church musician began in 1707, and a year later, he became the organist and chamber musician for the court of the Duke of Weimar. In 1723, Bach was appointed cantor of the St. Thomas in School in Leipzig and parish musician at both St. Thomas and St. Nicholas churches, where he remained into his death until 1750. A man of deep Lutheran faith, Bach's music was an expression of his religious convictions. Among his many works are included musical interpretations of the Bible, which are his passions. Everyone knows passions. The most famous of these is the Passion According to St. Matthew. This composition, written in 1727 or 1729, tells the story of chapters 26 and 27 of the Gospel of Matthew and was performed as part of the Good Friday service. He also wrote music for Eucharistic services, the most renowned of which may be his Mass in B minor. And then finally, Bach's music compositions continue to be widely used and to be excuse me, and to profoundly influence the musical traditions of many Christian churches, 
even beyond their technical merits, they may be understood as deeply theological interpretations of the Christian faith, which have been translated into the language of music. I love that last sentence. His interpretations are of the Christian faith, which has been translated into the language of music. So today we honor J.S. Bach. Now this morning, um, excuse me, the other morning, I was asking George Fergus, our organist, one of our organists, and another musician about Bach's influence because I, I did a little research. Apparently there are 20 hymns in the 1982 hymnal where he composed the melody. And I didn't understand exactly what that meant. Um, he wasn't the, comp he didn't write uh, the lyrics or necessarily compose the piece. And so George tried to explain it this way. Uh, one of the songs is, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. So he said that what Bach did is he would take German chorale music and then he would set it so that it could be played on the organ or it could be played instrumentally um, for organists or other musicians. So he created the harmonies for many, many, um, he, He's, he was prolific. I mean, the, obviously he was a genius. But um, there are 20 hymns, many of them quite famous in our hymnal. You can look it up. I can't remember all of the names, but you, I trust me, you would know most of the, most of the hymns. But Bach wrote the hymnody for that. Um, he translated it so that it could actually be played on an instrument for modern ears. I hope that makes sense. Um, so today, that's pretty neat. I'm not a musician, but of course I can certainly appreciate his passions and the gift of faith that he turned into musical language. And so, um, I think what I'm going to take with from today is that I hope that what I say and what I do, that they can actually be gifts, that I can praise God with my voice, I can praise God with my actions, that Bach's gift to praise God was music, and mine, hopefully, I don't know what it will be today, but pastoral care, love, and patience, and um, hopefully words of wisdom. So let me begin now with this affirmation. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. And now, my friends, I want to offer these prayers. And I hope that whatever's on your heart and mind or whatever you need this day, that um, you can be touched and offer it up as well. O God in peace, you have prepared our path for today. Help us to trace it in peace. If we speak, remove lies from our lips. If we are hungry, rid us of complaint. If we have plenty, flatten the pride in us. We offer these prayers of our hearts to your wise guidance. So what is it that you need today? I ask that you Pray for our friend Stephanie, who lives in Florida. She's part of our national, international congregation, has had some serious health issues. <clears throat> and for her daughter, Rachel Joy. Pray for all those suffering in the wildfires, this crazy weather caused by climate change. Um, just help our nation be more kind. Help us to be kind to one another and more open and understanding. 
We may pass through the day calling on you, O Lord, who knows no other Lord. Amen. Holy One, in love you created us and called it good. Grant us the deep wisdom of your love that whatever this day leads, our lives may remain rooted in your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And I want to end with, I've prayed this prayer with you before. This is the prayer from um, Forward Day by Day. Many of you know it. Give me strength to live another day. Let me not turn coward before its difficulties or prove recreant to its duties. Let me not lose faith in other people. Keep me sweet and sound of heart in spite of ingratitude, treachery, or meanness. Preserve me from minding little stings or giving them. Help me to keep my heart clean and to live so honestly and fearlessly that no outward failure can dishearten me or take away the joy of conscious integrity. Open wide the eyes of my soul that I may see good in all things. Grant me this day some new vision of thy truth. Inspire me with the spirit of joy and gladness and make me the cup of strength to suffering souls. In the name of the strong deliverer, our only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And remember, friends, we need not fear, for God has redeemed us. He calls us by name and know that we are his. So with that, I ask God to bless you, to love you, to protect you and all those whom you love this day and always. And may you go out and make a joyful noise to the world. Amen.